Okay, just a second. Okay, this morning we're working a strain of uh, peacocks that I call dolphins because they have humps. They're descended long ago from a male that I gave a bunch of females. This is our royal blue line and I'll show you some of the differences in the coloration. Uh, we didn't do too well this time. How many fry? 105. 105 fry out of 28 females. We should have done better than that, but sometimes that happens. Uh, let's take a look at the males real quickly, and then we'll, I'll show you some of the females. I'm going to do some sorting here, Susie. This is one of our breeder males. You can see a really nice hump on him, fairly decent color. Put him over there. We'll look at him in an aquarium in a minute. Another one of our breeder males. Uh, a little bit lighter color and not a really good hump, but has one. Okay, here's a young male starting to grow a hump. Let's look at him again in a minute. A little bit darker fish. He's starting to grow a hump. Uh, I'll show you the different sizes here in a minute. There's a darker male growing a hump. I will probably, oops, sorry, I'll probably use him. And then these are some young males I wanted to show you, and we'll put them in the aquarium where he can and look, because this fish doesn't grow the hump until it gets fairly big. Uh, we lost all the breeders in the winter storm, and so we went with... Uh, young fish we had and these are just starting to grow up this is a fairly mature male so he's got a nice hump nice dark color this guy doesn't have nearly as good a hump he may but i'm i'm not sure i want to keep him let's set him aside for a minute and let's look at these compare these uh, three kind of medium sized fish Th these medium males are probably 10 months old. This guy's probably a little, something over a year. That guy does not have a good hunt. He's got good color, but not a good hunt. Okay, I want to put three males in the breeding colony. Obviously, that was a good one. this guy and that guy. Now let's do another beauty contest here. Take the two winners out. And let's compare these three younger males. I think you were right. This one? Yeah. yeah, I think so. So, these will sell. Susie hates for me to say this. He's not bad. Uh, but I look at all of you hobbyists as people to take our calls. They have to go somewhere. I'm not going to destroy them. And they're good fish, it's just they're culled from the breeding colony because I'm looking for that, those three best males out of hundreds when we're up to full production. We usually are uh, looking at at least 150 males uh, at the end of a breeding cycle and that are big enough to consider as breeders. And we're only going to keep about three of them. So the culls aren't bad. Susan just doesn't like me saying that. Okay, let's look at these four younger males. Oh, I really like his color. We might take him instead of that other one. Yeah, well, what we may do is go with four. I like his color. We'll see what his hunt does. But you see these younger males, these are uh, six to eight months old. Maybe this bigger one, maybe ten. And they just really don't get their humps until they're close to a year that they're showing possible humps. So nice fish, but we'll sell them. Okay, so we picked four breeder males. Now let's look at females. Well, first of all, this, these are young females. These are uh, uh, that I'm adding to get to the breeding colony up to full production. These are some older females I wanted you to see. These will just be put up. Uh, there's quite a bit of variation. This is 
the biggest female we have. And you see, she's got a little bit of blue tint in her body. Then this is a very interesting female, very blue for a female. Thought it was a male. Yeah, it's definitely a female. Another kind of light-bodied female. Another dark-bodied female with some blue. I think these dark-bodied females throw the dar darkest blue males. Uh, whereas the latter ones throw males that are somewhat paler. Look at this female. Very blue. So what I don't know, and one of these days I ought to split this just to find out, to see whether the bluer females may have too much testosterone and may not be producing eggs. See, that's a nice female. She's starting to get quite a bit of blue. Uh, in this aquarium strain, I tend to select for uh, colorful females. Makes things fun at uh, sex sorting time when they're young. Uh, but since most Alonicara descended females are pretty ugly, it's nice to get some color in them. Look at this. See, that's a nice, nice fish. That one's got some nice blue, too. But she's definitely masculinized. Her fins are a little bit more pointed than normal. Okay, so we are going to put these up. Now, one, one thing I do when I'm trying to improve a strain is turn over females rapidly because the males are very tightly selected but i'm not doing that this time because i want to get this breeding colony up to full strength normally what i would do while i'm still trying to improve a strain like this is uh, try to turn over the females often okay stormy just found a where'd you find him in the gutter. Yeah, this has this is a uh, Invena with a uh, labiotroph of some sort and has a tumor on him. I'm going or her. I'm going to put her in the gutter and let her live out her life. You know how hard it was to catch him? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to kill her. What do you want me to do to her? Well, you showed it to me and we filmed it. Stormy has to complain all the time. She's complaining that I let the fish go. I'm going to have to start miking her so you can hear her complaints. Film her, she's turning red. Okay, hi Maya. Anyway, where was I before Stormy interrupted me? Uh, yeah, if we were up to full strength, I would probably replace all the older females, except for maybe two or three that I really like. Uh, with younger females, because the younger females are going to be descended from the breeder males. And so by doing that, I'm concentrating the, the genes that those breeder males have that make them good. Uh, but this time I'm going for numbers. Uh, I want a full breeding colony so that we get a good batch uh, of fry so, and grow them up so I can... Uh, do tighter selection in the future. Well, about this time, this is late April, um, we're a little over, we're what, about 16 mo months from the winter storm. Uh, we will probably be recovered about this time next year uh, because we'll get uh, older breeders that produce more fry or more reliable and we'll get breeding colonies up to full strength. Good fish keeping. See you, Stormy.